Hi everyone, welcome back. So Diwali is approaching now, it's carb season, and today I'm gonna share one of the most popular street food snacks, Sahina. It's one of the most popular, along with doubles and aloo pie and baigani, kachori, all those are just loved street foods in Trinidad and Tobago. So today I'm gonna share the recipe for Sahina. I already have a recipe on the channel, it's the exact same recipe, just a better video and better sound um, so today I'm going to share my recipe with you all and I hope you enjoy it. It is very popular around Diwali time and Diwali is approaching now so I figured you all would love an updated recipe. So enjoy! Sahina is a fried indo trinbegonian snack usually served at religious events such as weddings and prayers and it's also served for Diwali, the festival of lights. It's sold all year round at street food stalls and vans and Trinbagonians love to go to the popular Debe street food strip to buy Sahina from their favorite sheds. It's a fritter made with flour, split peas or dal powder, seasonings, spices, leavening agents and of course the most important ingredient, dashing bush bhaji leaves, known to the rest of the world as taro leaves. Sahina is similar to the Indian fried snack pakora or bhaji. There are two types of Sahina. The one I'll show you today is called chip up Sahina and the other is made by layering the dashing bush leaves on top of each other with a spicy batter. This one is called rolled up sahina. I'll link the video for that in the cards above. Make sure you go look for your stretchy pants because carb season is on. Let's make the sahina. You'll need all purpose flour, split peas or dal powder, or you can use freshly ground dal Make sure you soak the dal in water overnight to make it easier to grind. Instant yeast, turmeric powder, salt, roasted ground jeera, and some sugar just for a little sweetness. And for the green seasoning, I have bandanya or shadow benny. If you don't have this, you can omit it or just substitute it with cilantro. You'll also need garlic, hot peppers, and pimento peppers. And these are just seasoning peppers with lots of flavor but barely any heat. And of course you need some dashing bush bhaji leaves or taro leaves. Click the card above for more info on this amazing tropical plant. I got these at a market on Liberty Avenue. The young leaves are better to use but if you can't find them then use the mature leaves. Or you can even use fresh or frozen spinach which is usually used for the Indian pakora. To prepare the leaves wash it well on both sides to get all the dirt off. Roll the leaves side by side and cut off all the hard stems. Then chop the leaves finely, the finer the better. You want to make sure the leaves get cooked properly to dissolve all the toxic oxalic acid. Once the leaves are chopped, squeeze some lime or lemon juice and wash properly. The lime or the lemon juice helps to reduce the itchiness caused by the oxalic acid. So I'm washing it well with the lemon juice and the water and then I'm going to squeeze it dry. And if you want, you can also blanch these in some boiling water. Now mix all the dry ingredients. Make sure everything's well incorporated. Now add some lukewarm water to make a soft but cohesive batter. Of course the amount of water you'll need will be based on the humidity of where you live. For instance, for my Trinbagonian family, you'll need less water than I need because it's hot there and it's cold in New York so the air is very dry.
add the green seasoning now and this is a combination of blended bandania or shadow benny leaves, garlic, hot peppers, pimento peppers and water. Now leave the batter to rise for about 30 minutes and then it'll be time to fry. Once the batter rises, you can fry it right away or you can package it in an airtight container or a freezer bag and freeze it for up to a month. To make things easier this Diwali, you can make the batter ahead of time so Diwali day isn't too crazy or hectic. When you're ready to use it, make sure it comes back to room temperature before frying. You can do this for other batters also like kachori, polori, baigani and the others. Wet your hands with some water or oil. I prefer water because I don't like the feeling of oil on my hands. Oil is probably better though because you know how oil and water do like each other. Form the batter into an oblong shape like this, not too thin or too thick. You can also form it into whatever shape you like. You can make a flat disc or you can even make it round like pilori. This mini one is ideal for a tea plate. Fry these babies on medium heat for about 8 minutes. It has to cook for a while to ensure that the dashing bush leaves are fully cooked. Also, the bigger the size of the sahina, the longer it takes to fry. If you decide to steam the dashing bush leaves before you make your batter, then it'll also reduce the frying time. Once they're completely fried and nice and crispy and golden brown on the outside, place it onto some paper towels to drain the excess oil. If you're staying away from the fried food, bake these for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. They can also be done in an air fryer. Now it's time to assemble our sahina. I have a variety of chutneys here. A sweet and peppery mango chutney, coconut chutney, roasted pepper sauce, tamarind chutney or sweet sauce. We trim big onions just say tambran sauce and a raw mango chutney. When you buy sahina by a street food stall, they usually serve it with the devil's chana also. I'm adding some to mine along with my favorite toppings. The best way to eat sahina is hot on the spot when it's still hot and crispy. Did you know that you can curry, stew or barbecue the fried sahina or maybe even jerk or Chinese style too? I'll link my barbecue sahina recipe in the cards above. Maybe you can try it if you have any leftover sahina this Diwali. And it's usually done with the rolled up sahina. I hope you enjoyed the video and you try out the recipe this Diwali. Wishing you a safe, holy and of course a delicious Diwali. Let me know what type of sahina is your favorite. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below and subscribe and make sure to ring the bell to be notified of all my latest videos. See you next time. Bye!